What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video and today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the Redmi K20 Pro's Evolution X ROM, the latest build. This is the March 8, 2023 build. I'll give you my full impressions of this ROM and if you want to take a quick look at the change logs, here are the plethora of changes are here. You can read them out. I'll list it in the description, this post I mean. In the about section, this is how it looks like still. We have the Evolution X logo up top and we have the Android version as Android 13. And then we have the Evolution X version showing as 7.6.2 tab log and this is the official build again the security patch is not yet March because I think it hasn't released or something like that so not really sure but yeah you get the February security patch still and we have the stock kernel as the 4.14 Soviet star the build date here is again 8th March and the build maintainer is still Stalix is Linux is showing as enforcing and if you want to flash this ROM you can check out the flashing guide from the description now in the system updater settings of course it's still similar it shows the updates whenever it's available and we have this USB configuration. You can set it to file transfer for convenience from here. In the gestures, we have this quick tap or the back tap settings. In the quick open camera system navigation gestures. In the settings of it, we have the spill length radius customization. Then the back gesture animation, swipe to invoke assistant and stuff. All these things are there. Left edge, right edge customizations are there and amount of screen height to be used for the back gesture is still there. We have the two button and three button navigations, one handed mode and stuff. Everything is working fine. You do not need to worry. There is always on fingerprint and we have this press and hold power button action and the swipe trick screenshot and stuff. All those things are working perfectly fine. You have no need to worry about them. And in the pop-up camera settings, you will get the sound effects and stuff. Now let me talk about the most important change in this particular build. Well, that is in the Evolver settings. If you go into the MISC settings, if you scroll down, you will get the unlimited Google photo storage backup like a pixel, but it is much more improved. If you disable this particular feature, you will get the Google's magic eraser tool in the Google Photos app. So that is huge. And if it doesn't work, I would suggest just force close the Google Photos app, like go into the apps info and then force close the app if it doesn't work after turning this feature off. But for me, what I did actually is I just turned it off, then went into the Google Photos. I did get the magic eraser option in the Google Photos edit section. Afterwards, whenever I enabled this unlimited photo storage, then I also had the unlimited photo storage with the magic eraser. So that is great. And you can see the effects from the screen recordings. Of course, it's marvelous. And you can, of course, use the magic eraser right now on the Evolution X ROM if you want. So that is awesome. And that is a huge step in my opinion compared to other ROMs. And we also have the unlock higher FPS in games, Netflix poof, and all those other customization like the volume panel timeout and stuff, ignore window secure flags, and all these other settings are still present, including with the parallel space, game space, smart pixel, everything is there. And right now the lock screen clock font section looks like this, and you can see the clock fonts more prominently, I would say. And here you can actually customize it. And I have been using with, this is the clock that I have been using, looks beautiful. And of course the finger scan speed is perfectly fine no issues at all with that but here you will get plethora of options i think 120 plus options i guess for the lock screen clocks so yeah huge amount of options you will get for the lock screen clock font and this rom has plethora of customizations that you can choose from everywhere in the evolver settings and shows this really cool like texts over here random texts appear whenever you go back and stuff from the evolver so yeah, this looks awesome. Let's talk about a bug that I have faced. Well, the bug that I have faced is something related to that picture in picture mode bug, which has been there in the Evolution X Android 13 ROMs from quite a while now. And this time it is a lot more severe, I feel, because I have actually faced a huge bug with that. Let me show you. Okay, so this is the problem that I have faced. Well, I was just playing a video on VLC player and it is stuck. If you're noticing, this is not uh, like, video that is buggy or something i have tested it on other devices here as you can see i'm just like skipping it but still it's doing this glitching animation but here let me actually show you if i just go to home screen as you can see everything is fine but as soon as i start to open anything it will show that in the animation in the bedwin let me actually show you one more time yeah if you're noticing i'm just going into the recent panel but this is not the recent panel if i just tap here it will open twitter look at this as you can see, it has opened Twitter, but here, if I go into the recent panel again, this is the animation which is stuck into the recent panel. Right now, to actually fix it, I have to reboot the device. This is the bug that I have faced in the Evolution X ROM latest build. 
as of right now well it is similar to the pip kind of bug like youtube picture in picture or the messenger picture in picture heads up and stuff all those things get stuck here so this is what i have faced here so i don't know how to actually fix it but yeah but this is what i have been experiencing very annoying i would say i can't even watch a movie or something with vlc player so that's how it is even if i go into the home screen and again if i just reopen the recent panel or if i just randomly open any app just opening chrome as you can see in the animation in the between it shows that kind of thing over here so very annoying thing again and to actually fix it i need to reboot the device so hopefully in the upcoming builds this problem will be fixed but yeah this is a very annoying issue that i have faced in the latest evolution x rom now here we have the camera as the anix or the miui camera you can say and this is the leica kind of camera and from here you can choose like a vibrant and authentic also we have this lens switching feature with that you have this ultra wide angle lens 1x lens and this 2x telephoto lens is also working fine now here in the video settings of course we get up to 4k 60fps option and all of them are actually working fine you have no need to worry about them and we have this pro mode too you can shoot pro mode videos if you want that is awesome too and here let me actually show you the documents mode we also have this enhanced feature and stuff if you want to get that and there is a portrait mode even the front camera is working perfectly fine with the portrait mode if you want to see that the selfie quality and stuff the portrait mode selfies from the front camera and even the rear camera portrait should be working perfectly fine there is also the night mode and stuff and if you swipe up you will get more options like the slow motion and stuff then the vlog mode the vlog pro sticker avatars as you can see the like quality of this the movements and stuff with the sticker avatars is great so yeah no issues whatsoever that you will face with all of these features i would say so definitely this rom has amazing amount of features with the leica camera and this is one of the best that i have ever seen so again it is really good to have the leica camera present by default here let's talk about the widgets yes in the home screen as you can see i have added this subscriber account widget that is working fine the wallpaper that i'm using is from the fresh walls app and this is the evolution x launcher by default present over here it does have the double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen and stuff and all the customizations that one would look for and here to the left of the home screen we get the google's discover page and swiping up we'll get to the app drawer swiping down we'll get to the quick setting panel the quick setting panel stays dark even in the light theme that is how it is but the notification panel of course switches to light if you are in the light theme and the battery widget is also working fine all the other widgets should be working fine and the animations are of it are like pretty much smooth enough i would say and yes you do get the high refresh rate options and here you will get the 81 hertz 72 hertz and the up to like 102 hertz option is there and they are working perfectly fine although there is slight bit of color tint with that so you have to definitely live with that if you are using 102 hertz but i would say just use with 81 hertz or something it's it's more of a middle ground you can say with the 81 hertz experience so yeah overall with this the smoothness and stuff everywhere in the ui is perfectly fine that's how i feel now with this battery widget but here in the battery settings we still get the battery temperature seeing option the charging cycle seeing option also the current and design battery capacity both shows up and we have the battery optimization sleep mode smart charging and the pixel battery stats then here let me actually show you with the aku battery app the battery life that i have got is about 8 plus hours so that's a really good amount of battery life in my personal opinion let me in the comments what you guys think about the battery life over here but i do have brand new battery that's why my battery life has been good the screen off or the standby time is about 6 days and the combined use is worth of more than 2 days again this is a estimated kind of battery usage this is not what i have actually got but this is what with my usage i will get estimatedly and here in the health section my battery health shows up as 95% as again it's a brand new battery that's why i have been getting good battery life and the fast charging and stuff is working perfectly fine you do not need to worry about it the sound quality via the headphone jack and stuff has been really good and with the bluetooth headsets as well the volume panel looks like this you can switch the output device from right here the animation definitely looks cool to me And of course if you go into the sound settings you will get multiple customizations like this per app volume control and stuff is present and in terms of mio audio direct it is present and it has this big bold kind of like icon or logo and we have these presets for the wired headsets or bluetooth headsets and also we have this choose preset option for the bass booster and stuff and we have the smart scene selecting option then the hi-fi audio option is also present then we have the haptic feedback or the vibration intensity all over the ui and the clear speaker option is also there there is the silent and media mute as well 
Now in the display settings, we have this brightness level, adaptive and auto brightness, lock screen customization, then the pocket detection and the dark theme and stuff is there. Then we have the live display as well. From here, you can have the outdoor bright sun mode and stuff if you want. Anti flicker mode is there. Then there is a color calibration. You can change the RGB of the screen from here. And we have the DC dimming and stuff. Then we have the screen protector mode, prevent accidental wake up, wake up on plug. And even we have this refresh rate per app. In the wallpapers and styles, this is how it looks like. We have the 16 colors for the wallpaper and the basic colors you can choose from. And the app grid icons and the font style you can also customize from right here. And we have the themed icons and stuff you can enable. In the security, we have this quick unlock. Added the fingerprints, but let me actually set up the face unlock so that I can show you the face unlock speed and stuff. Let me show you. Okay, so it does not have that swiping our option i think it's by default so here let me just double tap to lock the device and double tap to wake and from here if i just swipe up and as you can see face unlock works perfectly fine no issues let me try one more time now talking about the screen of a 40 yes that works perfectly fine there is no need to worry and here if i just enable the always on display with that too this is how it looks and here if i just tap the finger scanner and the app lock and stuff is working perfectly fine. So yeah, with that, as you can see, if I just tap the fingerprint scanner, the Telegram app unlocks. So yeah, app lock is working perfectly fine here. You do not need to worry about it. The safety net passes right out of the box. So banking apps will not be a problem over here. And the DRM info stays as L1. So you can stream Netflix or Amazon Prime videos in 1080p. And also the Google Photos, I just showed you the whole feature of it. They are working perfectly fine with unlimited storage and the magic eraser. So overall, if you ask me, what do I feel about the latest Evolution XROM? Well, overall, in terms of daily driving performance, it is fine. Like the scrolling and stuff is working fine. But I would say where you will face the problems if you're someone who uses a lot of PIP or if you're someone who uses media players like VLC and stuff for watching some content, that will be an issue because sometimes that bug appears. So otherwise, the overall performance is good enough while doing normal daily driving. But yeah, I cannot simply recommend someone who watches a lot of movies or something with VLC player. Because of that bug, I cannot simply recommend this ROM as of right now, which I used to do earlier because this bug was not that prominent. But yeah, right now that PIP mode bug or media player kind of bug is a really big issue. And to fix it, actually, you have to reboot the device multiple times. Even if you do that, it does not actually totally fix it. It just fixes it for some time. So that is how I feel about the latest build of the Evolution x -Trom. And here are the Android and Geekbench score with a CPU stress test on this particular build to get you an idea about the overall UI's performance. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Share this video with your friends if you feel like. And subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today. I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.